Hello viewers and welcome back to Let's Play Doom. We are in episode 1, map 6, Central Processing. Uh, this map is awesome. Um, so without further ado, we will just start wandering around it. First of all, we'll just clear this little area out. So there's a few demons, a few shotgun guys. There's a red door there that we can't really do anything much with yet. There's a little room over here. Oh, yeah, I almost blew myself up there. Uh, that was almost not good, but yeah, we'll grab some health in here. That's pretty useful to keep note of the fact that there is health in here, just in case we need it later on in the map. People are opening doors. Why are people opening doors? Let's just get rid of them so that they can't open doors anymore. Right, now these are all yellow doors. There's a yellow door up there as well. There's also a spectre sitting right in front of it, so we'll just wait for him to fit. We'll just chew him apart like this. Whoa, where, where did that come from? There we go. So there's a blue door over here. So this level has all the doors. There's also all the enemies coming at us from various directions. These guys came from over here. You can just blow them up with the barrel. There's also a whole bunch of enemies in behind that bit. Can shoot them from down here. Uh, we'll leave that radiation suit for the moment, just in case we need it later. Uh, yeah. First of all then, we want to go through this way. There's a rather, rather large room filled with barrels. Uh, now, we need to be prepared here because this room is a trap. Of course it's a trap, this is Doom, but yeah, this, this is a pretty big trap, this one. Uh, basically, there's a bunch of guys kicking about. We can go over here and we can pick up the red key. When we pick up the red key, everything's going to open up and we are now locked in this room. And there's demons, shotgun guys and imps coming at us. So yeah, you want to be a little bit careful this part just because you can if you're if you're not prepared for that you can be swamped by enemies that you just don't know are even there we'll then just go around and grab the grab any health power ups that we can find By this time, the door should have opened back up again. So, it, I think it's set to a specific time. I think you... I think it's like 30 seconds or something like that. You've got to wait for the door to, to reopen. Anyway, we now have the red key. And we can make our way out of here. And go to the red door. The red door is over here. Now... I want to just clear these guys out first of all. And just be prepared for as soon as we go over that line, we're going to have some more enemies coming at us. Let's take these guys out just as normal. And there's a blue key here. Now, somewhere down here. Yeah, what it might be worth doing, there's not really too many times in this map that we're going to have to jump into the radioactive sludge. We can we can grab the radiation suit from over here. So we're going to want to go down into that bit, just briefly. So we can grab this. Uh, there actually is a radiation suit down here. I couldn't remember if there was one or not. There's a supercharge down here, which is nice. And there's a way back up, which is over here. 
This will basically give us some light amplification goggles and a door back to the starting level. Now the light amplification goggles are pretty cool. They basically uh, even out the brightness of the level, so everything's super bright. You're no longer affected by like darkened rooms or anything like that. Uh, so we can now go into this blue door. Just have a wander through here. And this is another kind of maze-like area. There's a few different directions that you can go in. Try and just work your way through it. So there's a switch over there, which we'll come back to in just a moment. As you can see, there's a, a door of some sort there that needs open. I think that that's the one that the, the switch will open for us. There's of course some other stuff as well. This takes us back to the start um, of this area. So again, this is one of those bits that you can use the the map for a little bit of guidance. We haven't been down this way yet. There's another secret door here which gives us a, a computer area map. That basically uncovers the rest of the map for you. So we can... Uh, what side of this was the door? God damn it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we can basically now hit the switch and wander back through. We're going to want to go, I think, this way, then this way. And as you can see, this area is now opened up. There's a couple of imps and a yellow key. This is what we're in here for. Uh, also, be prepared for this because there's a whole bunch of guys. Fortunately, they'll all start shooting each other as soon as we walk past, so that's always kind of handy. That flash, and that you can see there is just our light amplification goggles wearing off, um, and then you can basically see the difference that they made in the in the lighting of the of the level. Uh, so yeah, we now have a yellow key. We can wander back through here and go to the yellow door. Now there was three yellow doors. Uh, they're all through here. Um, I also heard an imp shooting at us. Yeah, these these guys. There's an area opened up round here. We don't want to be spending too much time sitting in this radiation stuff, but we can go through here and grab some some things. And there's another area out the back here. This is the bit of the level that I always forget about. So, there's a supercharge, which is nice. We're going to need it just as soon as we go up here, because... Yeah, there's a whole bunch of freaking enemies. And they're all gonna shoot us and we really can't move off of this platform, so... Yeah, kinda dangerous, this bit. This takes us to... The... This is inside the, the yellow door area. So everyone is currently shooting everyone, which is cool, but... Yeah, basically the the yellow the yellow door section. All all three yellow doors down at the bottom lead to this same area. So this is the this is the room that we came in with the multiple yellow doors. They all go up to here. Um, this one goes to the the left that had the spectre on it from before. We can then come down here. There's another door over there, which we need to I think hit a switch to open up, uh, which is there. So yeah, uh, whoa, crap. And this is the other side of that outside area. So we can hit the switch, wander down here, and this door will now be open. Of course, there's going to be about 20,000 enemies inside, only natural. Fortunately, those uh, demons won't step off into that um, slime, so they'll kind of stand there and serve as a little bit of a... I was going to say human shield, but they're not exactly human, so... So, there's a, an area down here which we're just going to want to, for the moment, just clear out.
We are running a little low on health here. There is some in this room, so we'll come back down here in just a moment. Uh, before we do that, I'm just going to quickly go up here and grab this, which is some health. We can then go back down here and into this room from the other side. Now, there's another enemy somewhere. There he is. Yeah, cool. Now, this bit. Uh, be prepared for a lot of enemies. We might want to use the chain gun here just for some, some rapid fire. Yeah, they're not all gone yet. Still get some of these invisible guys in front of us. I think that might be them. So yeah, you go in there, you open up a lot of enemies. But we need to hit that switch to get to the exit, which is now here. And of course, there's another spectre inside the exit room. But with that, we can hit the switch, and we have completed central processing. We killed mostly everyone in there, that was good. We can now enter computer station. So, let's quickly save the game. Episode 1, map 7. This is one of the more complex maps of episode 1. It's quite big, it's quite long. Hopefully it shouldn't cause us too much trouble. Whoa! This guy's just coming at us from all kinds of directions here. So we're just going to want to keep moving, just take them out. Grab some health. Right, there's a blue door there. I've also awakened a whole bunch of guys up at the other side. Can hit the barrels to kill a few of them. Get some of them in fighting with each other, that's always fun. There's a supercharge out there, but it's on the other side of that. There's also a red door there which we can't go through yet. Uh, so we're gonna need to go to this side. And there's a yellow door, which we can't currently go through. Uh, getting shot a lot from up above, which is not great because you can't look up or down in this game. Um, so we're going to want to be careful. Follow these guys around here. Now there is the yellow key. We can grab that and make our way to the yellow door, which was over here. Whoa! Whoa! There's a whole lot of enemies in here, so... Yeah, this is also the other side of that yellow door. Up there is a particularly dangerous platform, which I don't like very much. So we're gonna... Oh, yeah, you're gonna want to be careful every time you walk past this window as well, because there's enemies absolutely everywhere in this level. Up here is not cool. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna quickly save the game before going up here, just in case this goes wrong. Because it puts you in very close proximity with a whole bunch of these guys. You do not have much time to react. You are going to take hits if you come up here. Uh, fortunately, there's a whole bunch of good uh, weapons and ammo. Uh, there's also, I can still hear various people shooting each other. Right. Well, I think we've mostly cleared that bit. Yeah, there's demons and imps fighting with each other up there. That's pretty cool. Let's just, let's just leave them, leave them to it. Uh, yeah. There's a blue door. So we can't go through that just yet. It's always nice when they strategically locate some barrels just for us to shoot them up. So there's a few things here. There's a door there. There's a pathway over here. 
we'll go... Whoa, shit. First of all, we'll kill this guy because we are about to die. Um, let's kill him and stay out of the freaking way. Whoa, imps coming out of nowhere. Imps shooting at us from other places that are out of nowhere. Right, let's quickly save the game because this is getting a little bit messy. Right, we're going to want to go up here. There's a flashy dark room once again. Methodically go through here and take out the shotgunners. We can now hit these guys from over here. That's a room we'll get to later on in the level. I guess handy to take some of the guys out from from a distance. Shotgun actually performs fairly well at distance, surprisingly, given that its projectiles tend to spread out a bit. It's, it's more effective at close range, but. Um, yeah, it can work at a distance as well. It's pretty much my go-to weapon for most of the game, to be honest. Right, this takes us to the... this is down the, the other side of the area that we're back, right back at the start, where the supercharge is down there. Uh, down there, that's the other side of the red door that we saw right back at the start. There's a few enemies there, and the blue key. So we're going to want to go up here. Right. Really need to use the chainsaw on everyone there, but uh, yeah, we can grab that. We can grab the red key, so we can now head down to the red door and get the blue key. Got to watch out though, because that's going to have opened up this, which is going to unleash a whole bunch of demons. Demony demons. Right, we can now head back um, around and work our way back to the red door. Of course, this will have opened up little pockets of enemies all over the place, so you got to watch for that. So we can go. That, uh, no, that's just that. Yeah, we can go around here, back to the back to where the red door is, which is over here. And we've already killed these guys, so we can just pick up the blue key and wander back around to yet yeah, another group of enemies that have opened up. anything else in here so we can just wander onwards of course now there's going to be a huge group of enemies in here so it becomes a kind of running theme of this level every time you do anything you're going to end up with more and more enemies running around all over the place which is fine now this there's a little secret area that will take us out to the outdoor area. That came from where the where the door opened up to let those other enemies out. Uh, this is actually the end of the, the level. That corridor in the inside of the, the room there, that's where the end of the level is. So we can, <laughs> can actually kill a lot of these guys from outside, which is pretty good. Grab the shotgun ammo just to replenish as well. So yeah, that that's the exit tunnel um, where we'll be going to finish the level. We can now go back inside. I think it was like great. I've lost the door. God damn it! There, there's the door. So we there's the the blue door. Um, which we can pretty much just go through at this point. I think there's not really much else to to see. So again, a lot of these enemies are dead already because we've been shooting them through windows from all over the place. Uh, they, this way, there's a door over here, but we can't open it yet. That's the door that actually leads to the exit. Um, we need to hit a switch to open it up. 
And again, this is one of these areas from the other um, side. So you can actually, there's some stuff there if you drop down into the into the green uh, goo, you can pick up some stuff. And we might actually want to do that because we are a little bit low on, on health. Uh, that switch that we've just hit there, uh, that will have opened up this and the path to the exit. Uh, before we do that, yeah, I, I don't know if I particularly want to drop into the green, the green goo. But there is a there is a radiation suit over there, so we can probably get to that before we die. Uh, there's a switch there which will open up the pathway to some health, and another switch which will open up another area. By the looks of it. Uh, this is the. This is all kind of inside this area, so we can we can go there. That's that supercharge, and we can go back up. Um, we can also drop down the other side to pick up that chain gun and the ammo, but I'm pretty much fine for chain gun ammo, so I don't really need to do that. So we can just basically go through here. All these guys are already dead, so we can just hit the exit switch and get ourselves out of here. Commuter station is complete, which leaves one final level of episode one. Phobos Anomaly. So, it's given that we have an uneven number of levels, we're just going to do this in the same episode as well, so I'm going to continue here to Phobos Anomaly. <laughs> the music for this level is just awesome, it's so dark and doomy, it's just great, like, uh, you know something spooky is coming up. So immediately you get a, a whole pile of barrels that you can use to, to kill a lot of the demons. Usually all the barrels blow up. Never mind. Still get some barrels left at the other side there. Yeah. A whole lot of demons. Up here, there's a computer area map, which we can grab, along with some health, which we don't actually need. There's also... Some cool stuff down here. There's a there's a supercharge here, which we're already supercharged anyway, but that's that's fine. There's a couple of demons, nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. And we can pick up a shotgun if we if we still need one, and a chain gun. However, we are going to be using something slightly different. We're going to be using the rocket launcher because we're about to see the first boss of the game. Before we fight the boss though, there's a whole bunch of other guys that are about to run at us um, and we can just basically kill them just now. So there's spectres running around all over the place. Spectres are just invisible demons. They're not going to cause us a, a huge problem. I think most of them are dead. Apart from that one who seems to be stuck up there. There's a few more probably dotting around the place. But hey, here we go though. As soon as we step off here, we have two barons of hell. The Bruiser Brothers of Episode 1 of Doom. So we're going to hide around the back here. I remember the first time, the first time I played Doom, I was like so, so freaking freaked out by these guys, like he's, these huge enemies that are coming, coming down from the top there, lobbing big green fireballs at us. To be honest, Barons of Hell aren't that tough, and they do become basically a regular enemy later on in the game. Um, but yeah, for the moment. Uh, we are just going to... Whoa, crap! There's apparently still a spectre that I did not see. Yeah, we're just going to shoot some rockets at these guys until they die. There's one down, two down. And with both of them taken out... The platform around his lowers. And we can proceed to the end of the level now. Uh, yeah, interestingly enough, there's not really much down at the side of this uh, this platform. Um, that's just back to where the start of the level was. So not really much going on there. 
The only thing left to do is go through this spooky looking staircase. And this demonic looking portal. And a room full of enemies. Once you beat the big badasses, clean out the moon base. You're supposed to win, aren't you? Aren't you? Where's your fat reward and ticket home? What the hell is this? It's not supposed to end this way. It stinks like rotten meat, but looks like the lost Dimos base. Looks like you're stuck on the shores of hell. The only way out is through. To continue the Doom experience, play The Shores of Hell and its amazing sequel, Inferno. So yeah, that is episode one of Doom. Episode one has been completed, so we will basically from here go on with the, the next episode. Our next episode will be um, The Shores of Hell, where we will take on the lost Dymo space that we have now been transported into and see what horrors await us at the other side. But in the meantime, that was the first episode. It's been brilliant to play back through that again. I just love this game so much. Uh, it still plays so well today. This game holds up just so well. Um, it's just action, awesomeness. Um, and, I mean, if it's one of those games, I mean, everybody should have played this game by now, but if you're somehow one of the like 10 people on the planet that haven't played Doom at this point, you need to play Doom, like it's just so good. Um, and you can buy it pretty much anywhere, I mean you can get this on Steam, you can get it, um, you, you, you can play Doom on pretty much any console these days, any, you can even play it on phones and stuff like that, so there's no excuse for not playing Doom. Um, but yep, we will continue in the next part. We will go to the, the next episode, The Shores of Hell. We will continue um, our journey through the, uh, the, the, the lost base um, and see what demonic forces have taken up a stronghold there. In the meantime, thank you once again for watching this. I hope you have enjoyed this so far. If you have, give us a like, leave us some feedback in the comments and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. Thank you once again and I'll catch you next time. See you later.